18 years old. I'm one of the older inmates around here. So. At one point, Akeem, when we were filming with you, you were like rapping one day out in the unit. Do you remember that? And like yeah. everybody started to go kind of crazy. Can yeah. you tell me about, can you take me back to that day and tell me about rapping and what you were doing and what ended up going on? I mean, I feel uh, we was playing. At first, we was playing. Uh, you know, a lot of these, a lot of these cats around here look up to me. Uh, we was all just playing. You know, me, my boy Chevion, Bonner, We was all just kind of just having a little freestyle. And then I guess you know, like they like the way we was doing it. Well, cause I, I think a lot of these cats, like I said, they look up to me. They they gave me like a big brother. And uh, so I started getting hype. They started getting hype. And kind of just kind of got thrown out of proportion. Kind of staffed and like that. So. They, Locked us down. Uh, chairs got thrown and stuff. Some other shit. I, I actually got hyped too. I actually, actually kind of lost my sight too a little bit, knowing I was about to go up for release too. So, yeah. It's just an impromptu rap session. Yeah, it was. That's all it really was. I mean, but you can't do type of shit like that here. So, that's kind of one of those. One of the other things um, you've done while you've been here is you've had a job. Right yeah. at, at the prison. Um, tell me why you have a job, um, and how is it, Mrs. Stafford or Stanford? Yeah. Do you remember whoever the woman is that supervises you? She's always like kind of giving you advice and stuff like that. So first, just tell me a little bit about your job here. Uh, here, yeah. Uh, my job is uh, I work. Uh, I actually work the kitchen. Uh, we cook. We fix the food, we fix the trays. Hold on for a second. Remember, look right here. Okay. So, yeah, but actually, uh, my job is basically here in the dining hall. We cook the food, we fix the trays, we clean up afterwards, clean during, you know, when they outside in the dining hall eating. Uh, we just uh, basically think a good reason why I think they, they like me working for them because I know I'm a hard worker. So I'm a hard worker. They, I think they like that because I just. I just got a, a good personality to be around to work with. I know a lot of the, because a lot of the, the kitchen staff and the dining hall staff, Airmark staff, they, they kind of like me around and they call me down a lot. So, so tell me, um, there's, there's, I know one woman there who actually gives you um, some advice and stuff. Tell, tell me, you know, like how that makes you feel and what that's kind of like as you're working. Does it help? Or? Yeah, I feel it help. I feel because I, because I never had a real job in my life, so I feel like. This is kind of like a little experience for me to build a relationship. I got to be able to, if, that, if anything, she my boss. So I feel like I built a good relationship with her where she helped me out and gave me advice. And she's seen stuff that, you know, that I didn't even see in myself at times, like with good work at the end. I guess that kind of just helped me out. And uh, another thing, she, uh, she, she a really good person to be around with, so Miss Stamper. So I kind of built a relationship myself with her, kind of like a, like a second honor or something. Man, I know you've been uh, been uh, worried about these last couple weeks and stuff. You gonna be okay at the release hearing tomorrow? Have you been preparing at all? Yeah, I've been pre preparing. Uh, I think uh, knowing that I got my release pulled and what within 48 hours last time, I think I'm gonna be able to pull myself together. And even if I don't get it again, but I think I should. I know I should. Like last time I got it, it just it was on my part that I messed up. Mm-hmm. I feel like. Uh, and ain't nobody else fault but mine. Yeah. I could be as mad as I want, you feel me? Ain't, ain't nothing gonna change. That's just how life goes. I messed up, I manned up. Uh, I feel like I'll be able to get, get my release tomorrow. And if I don't, I did it one time, kept myself together. I'm gonna right. keep myself again. Right. The first you know, one I got it took. I just wanna make sure you're ready for you know tomorrow, because I, I really wanna see you get released this time, Akeem. You know, I know you've changed a lot since you got here. You know, hopefully this will be setting the course, showing you when something happens, there's always going to be um, a reaction to all your actions. You know, hopefully you'll see that now. Yeah. You know, so, well, what are you going to do if you do get released? Man, I'm, t I'm a duck off. Chill, man. I'm not talking, I'm not, I'm disassociating myself from everybody. That's how I feel. I'm not going to even get to a point where somebody trying to fight me or right. waving is, that it's gonna happen. Cause you know. that's why I messed up. I kind of challenged him, he challenged me. 
And in the end, he really wanted to fight, and he swung on me, so. You know, if you get your release this time, though, I mean, you still got to go that other two weeks, you know, that you got to stay clear doing what you're supposed to do, exactly. right? Yeah. You going to have a problem with that? No, nah, man, that's why I'm not going to even talk. You feel me? I came here by myself. I feel like I need to be by myself. That's how I should have been the last time. I was too happy, I, then I got snapped back to reality. It ain't that right. easy just to walk out of here. Right. And Allison, if you could then just say, if things don't go well and you're denied tomorrow, are you going to be able to handle that? Things don't go well, uh, you get denied tomorrow, you going to be able to handle that? Things don't go well tomorrow, I'm going to pray to God that I do. And I, and I got faith that I will. Mm -hmm. so, but it's gonna, I think it's going to kill me on the inside, but I'm just going to have to just, once again, suck it up, do what I need to do to make whatever for me to go home happen. Just know that you got a whole lifetime ahead of you instead exactly. of these few weeks. Yeah. This, this basically, this basically, I feel like these is tests for me about to leave when something don't go right. That, that's a house. great, that's a great way to look at it, Keem. I mean, that's the only way you can look at it because life is going to be full of all kinds of tests for you, you know, and just it's all about whether or not you're ready to make the right choices. Mm -hmm. And not all even right. saying that, I mean, I, I feel like, like, if, like, that, this could have been like just the two weeks that delayed me because I could have got killed yesterday. Right. Or you got to look at the positives. I already know that's. God do everything for, for a reason, so. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, well, I, I hope you're ready for tomorrow, man. I, I really do. Yeah, I am. So, either yeah. way it goes, good luck, okay? Yeah. All right, man, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Uh, yeah, All right, thanks. buddy. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Be for real. Huh? It's going to be beautiful when it's all done. It's going to be so worth it. You're just going to love every minute of it. Oh. What does he need now? That was great. Oh, it's just, Ollie's just going to get just, a couple of... You don't have to do anything. Just stand there. They're called cutaway the shots. This is oh. the same position. He's just going to get one of those cutaway shots. Oh, okay, yeah. Anyway, it's kind of a sad day for me. Yeah. Well, I like my breakfast. Oh, I can't tell you, but... Yeah, something bad. Yeah. Pray everything be right. I hope so. Who are you going up? Who are you going home with? My sister. Oh yeah, your uh -huh. sister that's making good. Oh, we had this. You gotta do good, Kim. Right, I'm serious. About you know. All this and stuff. I'm dead serious. I'm, everything I say, I mean. So I want to hear from you when you're doing something good. Yeah. You know, your sister's all doing good. You just gotta break that cycle. That's how I feel, like they did it, and they've been through the same stuff as me. Mm -hmm. Why can't I do it? That's how I look like. Because if you really know or read about me, I ain't going to try to make no excuses, but I've been through a lot of stuff. I, I know think. you have. I was a child since I've been through, but I, know. I don't make no excuses. I feel like that should just be. Hey, Ms. Seals. How's it going? Going to D12, got to talk to you, uh, Scott Manor. Oh, okay. All righty. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, Kim. What are you doing? Nothing. Tell it. You ready to hear the results? Yeah. Here's the deal, okay? You got your release, but it's going to be two weeks from now. You got to pay your two weeks. You going to be okay with that? I know. I know it's hard. I know you get your hopes up, okay? We're going to call your sister though and let her tell tell her you know that. You'll probably be a few more weeks down the road, okay? So I'll be out here for the 30th, right? Right, right. You gonna be okay with that? Yeah, I'll be all right with that, You want me to get your counselor? Have you talked to your sister? Will that help? Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, she's gonna be shitty at me too, though, but I, I feel like, I mean, I messed up. I'm gonna be a man about it now. I know, but you gotta start communicating with her, right? Because you're gonna be living on the outs with her, right? Exactly. So you just gotta man up to what you did mm -hmm. and let her know. Okay? Yeah. You have any problems, just give, give me a buzz. Just tell them, you know, you need to holler at Miss Yancey, okay? All right, yeah. All right? 
Mm -hmm. All right, buddy. I'll yeah. see you later, okay? Uh, thank you. All right. Damn, man. I would like to welcome everyone here for the Pelton Juvenile Correctional Facility graduation. This is a great day. And I hope you guys get ready to start your new life and, and start going to school. Some of you guys are going to be going back to school, getting out in time. So I'm hope, hopefully you're looking forward to that. But before I start, I'm going to ask, would any staff like to say anything? Ms. Commons? Congratulations to all of you. You've completed your program here and you've convinced those on your treatment review team that you've earned your opportunity to go back into the community. Okay? So we wish you all the best. If you have any issues or concerns, you can always call us. We would encourage you to do that rather than make a mistake. There are folks here who have helped you through your program, lots of them. And so we would rather have you give us a buzz. We'll give you a helping hand before you make another mistake. Anybody have any questions? No? What, um, what's the one thing that you think might have helped you be successful in your program here? It's a military unit. Being in the military unit? Okay. Officers helping me out. Correctional, Correctional officers helping you out. Anybody else? Being yeah, guided the right way. Guided in the right way. Okay. When you, when you leave, some of you are going to go home, some of you are going on to another placement, all right? There will be people to help you when you leave here, in your home and in your placements. Make sure you take advantage of that opportunity. It's okay to listen to them. They're not going to steer you wrong. You know when a group of kids get together to make a decision, a lot of times it's not the right decision. But when you ask an adult for advice, they're typically not going to steer you. Okay. Good luck. Congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. It says, this certificate declares that student Scott Manna has successfully completed the Pelton Juvenile Correctional Facility Program on this, the 30th day of July 2012. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Davidson, if your people are here, you can go back there and change in the restrooms. We have uh, a container that you can throw your state clothes in. You're going to have to see the nurse, sign some paperwork, make sure all the paperwork is signed before you leave. I'm going to have the nurse out front. So, whoever needs to go. Yeah, we'll have to send you back to the unit. Okay. So, we got. Okay, well, I mean. Yes, we have a couple of students here who have gone through the graduation and their parents are not here yet. So, our staff will wait with the kids until a parent shows up. And it, it, it happens occasionally. I mean, car trouble, those kinds of things. Um, but typically, they show up. It's hard on the kids. They have to, uh, it's one more setback for them. Uh, one more time when uh, possibly an adult didn't come through for them. Yeah. So now they just sit and wait. They will sit and wait. Yes, ma'am. My sister must be coming picking me up. Most likely her daughter, which is my niece, going to be here. So I'm happy about seeing her. She's, she's six. She's about to be seven, so. Uh, I don't go eat. I hop. So, how long has it been since you've seen your sister? And you can say that in a full sense. It's been however long. It's been about probably almost a year since I seen my sister. In August, so it's July 30th. So uh, we kind of left off on a bad time. I kind of did some stuff I shouldn't have did, and uh, I know she forgave me. So I'm ready to make her proud. I kind of stole her car.
before I got locked up. So, so I guess that, you know, I didn't go. She was mad about that. But I didn't steal it. I kind of like got caught around with it. So, yeah. is, is she here yet? Do you know? Uh, she, should be, tw she should be here about 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm waiting. I'm anxious right now. I feel real. So, yeah. Get an outside bond. You know your sister's number? Hey, Barn. Can you call this number for me? And check and see uh, where Scott Mann's family is? What's the number? All right. She's going to call me. I'll write back. Let me know. Did she take off work today? Uh, she told me last time she was going to be here. Uh, yeah, she, she didn't come to work today, y'all. She didn't come to work today. She said she's going to get on the road at 10, which is our time. It's 10, but it's y'all. I mean, our time, I mean, here time 10 is, that's time is 11. So, that's good. We're an hour behind. She left at 10, which would be 9.30. So, our time, right? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So, she's about four hours. So, she should be here pretty soon. It's a good three and a half, four hour drive to get Gary in it. Two hours, two and a half, three. The most, two and a half. Because like she's in a traffic jam in Lafayette. They're in Lafayette, so she's in a traffic jam. So it's going to be like another hour, hour and a half when she gets here. Well, she, can't, she can't help the traffic jam. They did the construction. She didn't man. make that happen. Did she make that happen? No, oh, man, but they ain't happen. I understand you. Ready to go? She didn't make it happen. She on her way. At least she didn't say she was still at home pulling her thumb. She said she on her way in traffic. She probably is as frustrated as you are. You think she might be a little bit frustrated in that traffic jam? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's a whole other 60 minutes. And just think, when you get out of here, oh, you have to see this no more. Yay! Cause that's that's to get you motivated right there for another hour. True? It's true, it's true, but then. Let me get you something to do for an hour. There's a lot, probably a lot of trash out there that you can pick up. Want to go pick up trash, Ralph? All right, let me get a hold of Walker Trouble. 
Popping them, man. Keep popping. Bobby Spates, I'm gone. All right, bro. All right, bro. I'm out of here, man. I can't even keep up with it. You want me to keep up with it? Ready? Yeah, man. We gotta get up front. You better stay in front of me, man. I'm gone. But you can't hey, run them off, please. I can't change. Hey, see, you're gonna have to take something. Don't do that. I'm over there, bitch. I ain't gonna lie, man. Here, just walk over this floor. All right. So I can keep up with you. Look at you. I'm out of here, man. Don't stay gone on the 16th. All right, man. I'm trying to slow down a little bit. All right, man. I'm trying to slow down, man. I'm out of here, man. I'm peace. Gone. I'm peace, baby. I did it, man. I'm gone, but it feel good. I don't even feel real right now. Damn. I seen when she first came out there to the window, man. I'm out of here, man. Still well. All right, man, I'm going. All right. Go. All right, bro. Huh? This one, this one. I'm going straight out to the man. Well, I got my wristband. I'll, I'll vouch for you. All right, all right. All right, all right. Hey, um. Bye, Mr. Mom is one of last Thank you. Bye, Mr. Walker. Yeah. Yeah. about 15 minutes ago. Yeah. I'm out of here, man. About to go eat. Now I'm hungry, man. Starving, man. Hour and a half almost late.
dog, man. I do remember him saying that. I said that. He like his age. Yeah, he likes his age. But he said he wanted to do it for real too, though. He's like, so he's basically saying the same thing I said. They want more male nurses. Mm -hmm. Basically the same opinion. I was like, man, it's easy. Not easy, but it's for real too. So that's what you're going to study with? Yeah, it's right here. You put your uh, class oh, yeah. at the No. Oh, oh you got my report card. Right there. Uh, okay. no, I ain't got no report right. card no more. No, they Use the legal garden. Okay. okay. Ma'am, I need for you to sign right there, please. Oh. I got a couple places. Okay. Yeah, this is like a transport order that you're taking in. So you can just sign right there. Right there, and yeah, the first one. Huh? Yes, ma'am. Uh, then put your my guardian or mother. Or I think with the transcript, they didn't send it. I said yes, I drove a park car because I've been here long enough to get a park car too. It's just that I dropped, when I dropped school, but I yeah, took the test today. Right there. Yeah, Weezy, son. Okay. And stuff. Yeah. Oh, wait, I need to put your son out here too. Right here. That's what it's all about, right here. That's your script right there. <laughs> that? That's that GED thing right there. Passed every one, first time. Right there. For a check. I think you have another envelope too. Let me make sure before you leave. Where the little check at? I see my money in there too. Is there another little envelope? I think you had two of them. Hey, look, man. No, I was like, this your 30. <laughs> this your yeah, listen, this is my head. Uh, hey, hey, how are you? Not yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I love you too. Okay. Not nice yeah. you. Scott. How you doing? That's it. Okay. I'm Shannon. Oh, I'm the oldest. Okay, well, I need the paperwork. Yeah. Oh, it's my own. Yeah. I need that. And I need that. Oh, okay. This is a certificate, ain't it? That's for you, yes. That's not Yes, sir. Thank you. Has he been cleared for medication? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's free to go. They're going to mail the check. What do you have there? I don't know. I think I have like $30. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's two. Two of that? Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. See? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, what is it? Oh, my bag, my bag, my bag, my bag. She got the bag. Oh, okay, 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 I'm out of here. All right, thank you, man. Appreciate it, bro. Love this call. You ever coming back again? Man, I ain't coming back. Y'all <laughs> go ahead and just camera bye-bye. Jaquim, -bye. you, you have her card, right? You have her card, right? Wait, wait, wait. Thank you. 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 Hey, man, you should have held it up. Why are we all going to know for you? <laughs> you have a guest in the star right. I'm serious. <laughs> I've got your number. Yep. I'm serious about that, too. Right. Thank you, Ms. Karen. Yep. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. We're going to be in touch. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right, man. I'm gone. You ain't going to never see me again. It's my sister. She feel me. They fine. I love y'all, man.